All right, Nation, right off the mat, best two out of three. Terrell, he's dangerous. You're winning 4 0. He catches it at the end of the period. What's going through your mind? Uh, it's like I haven't been thrown before in practice. You just wrestle through it. It's not a, a really big deal. You gotta score points and, and uh, expect the other to How much freestyle have you wrestled? Is this kind of your first exposure to it? Uh, you wrestled much in high school? I wrestled in high school. I did the Fargo all four years. Um, yeah, now the rules have changed a bit, but uh, I took it last year off because uh, some in injuries. But just uh, getting back into it. Beat the streets. What's the biggest thing you took away from Beat the Streets? I wanted to talk to you right after that, but I didn't figure you wanted to talk. What'd you take away from that match? Um, uh, I got to know what the score is, and in, uh, in the Beat the Streets match, I wasn't, I wasn't aware that the score was uh, as close as it was. So when I stepped out of bounds, I thought I was kind of just giving up a, you know, a lax days per point. But it turns out he actually got got the lead from there. So. Um, yeah, I just wasn't, I didn't know what the score was, so. Coming in but, second at NCA's and getting back on the mat, I mean, how important is that to get back out here and just get rolling again? I think it's, it's, you always miss it when you're, when you're, uh, when you're away from it, but I think for me, um, I think it'll be good just because I'm getting a lot of, uh, I'm getting a lot of training and, and freestyle is one of those sports where I have to be great in, in, in every position, otherwise, you know, I'm getting exposed and, and I have to be able to be strong and solid in every position. And if I'm not, then um, people can catch my weaknesses there. And uh, so it helps me work on a lot of positioning things. Helps me work on a lot of that. So. Russell Terrell, he's kind of a, I don't know if you knew he had a judo background. Probably a little bit there. Is that something, too, that's a big difference, you know, where guys can catch you a little uh, bit? I, I've wrestled Terrell maybe like four or five times this year. And, and uh, yeah, it's something I'm always, I'm always, I don't, yeah, I'm always very like cautious about it because you never know. He's he's got some stuff that in his back pocket. But um, the thing is, this is not judo. This is wrestling, and um, you gotta. I just gotta wrestle and, and and not be afraid of that kind of stuff. What's next? Um, uh, I think university national. You're not going to the. You're not going next week. Where's, where's you're not going college? to Madison. No. He's gonna focus on winning a world championship in university. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah. What do you got to do? Uh, keep training. You got to just keep working, get my conditioning a little up, um, focus on just what I need to do to get better. How different was that foreign feel, and the Belarus kid yeah. in New York City? How different is this feel compared to like a Tarao or you know any guy at the weight? How different is that feel? Uh, it's hard to say because I've been putting a little, a lot more time training for this than I was for that. But a lot of it is really the same for me. Um, it's just I got to be able to I just got to be able to get to, to my shots and sometimes those guys are hard they're just hard to score on and uh, so I got to be able to get there um, but, but I don't know I think uh, I think I can do it when the time comes you got anything else for me um, I just every time I get on camera if I have the opportunity I just want to um, just thank God and just point the glory up to him and um, just my relationship, guys, is, is one of the first things in my life, and I desire to, to, to let people know that, you know, I'm not, uh, and I just want to just give that glory to him, and, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey, congratulations on the University National title. Thank you so much.